grab your friends and family and enjoy the beautiful summer weather and the beautiful work of local artists at the upcoming Sidewalk Art Show heading to downtown Roanoke this weekend. And here to tell us more about the event is one of the organizers, Holly DeGangie. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. So you all are actually celebrating kind of a huge milestone this year, 60 years. 60 years, yeah. That's amazing. So what do you think it is about this that made it last this long? Well, part of it is um, that when you have such a well-organized and well-curated show, so what happens is we have artists that apply to enter, we have a selection committee, and then those are the ones that are exhibiting. So when you have really high-quality oh, wow. artists, it attracts the people downtown, and then more artists want to participate, so it's kind of that ripple effect. So you're not just letting my six-year-old draw a picture of, of Spy, listen, he's a good artist, but you actually like look at these, make sure that they're good, and that's who people can find. And so if somebody has not been before, what can they expect? So what it is, is it's 130 artists and they set up their 10 by 10 tents on the streets surrounding the museum downtown. Okay. Um, so they sell their wares, everything, and I brought some examples, but everything from paintings, photography, um, sculpture, pottery, so some functional pieces as well. Yeah. I'm wearing some jewelry actually that I bought at previous shows. Yeah. Um, so really it's kind of gallery setting artwork, but where you get to go and you get to talk to the artists about their creative process, watch right. them working, so it's a lot of fun. That's really cool. I always feel like you can respect art even more when you can actually meet the artist and, and get to know them. And you actually are doing something new this year, right? That's right. So we have a couple of enhancements, one of them being that um, as you shop, walk around on the streets of the show, you can have a glass of wine or a beer. Um, we also have our cool. sculpture garden where you can take a break and kind of visit with friends and family. Okay, so how many artists um, will there be set up? 130 artists um, and then cool. inside of the museum so it is very it's a, a kid friendly event okay. so inside the museum we're partnering with the rescue mission where we're doing the drawing contest for the drumstick dash t-shirt cool. yes um, that's huge <laughs> it's okay. huge and then on Saturday if you come um, you can vote for your favorite our presenting sponsor hometown bank is doing a people's cool. choice so you can pick your favorite and see if they win that's really cool and then are they all local artists they're not so about okay. three years Years ago we opened our application process to online which really extended our reach so when we have those artists traveling internationally yeah. um, and throughout the the nation and they plot their shows they can add us to their docket so, so this is a chance to, to see some art that maybe you have not seen before you may be unfamiliar with and is everything for sale everything's for sale that is really cool. So where can people find more information on it? So it's free to attend. It's uh, Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5, okay. and details are on tobmuseum.org slash sidewalkartshow. Cool. This is really cool. Holly, thank you so much for coming in and, and sharing this. If you want a link, uh, recap or a link to their website, go to our website, daytimebluridge.com.